So them guys are in here back with a banger. It's a, another breakfast meal today. We're going to head to Chai Walla because I've never had uh, Chai Walla before. I've had many Chai Desi breakfasts, but I've never been to Chai Walla and it's like one of the originals, I think. So we're going to head there, try it out, hear what all the fuss is about, because I've heard like mixed reviews about it. And I think we've got a pretty good experience in the Desi breakfast. So yeah, let's head there now. Like I said, I'm really hyped because I never had Chai Wooler. I've heard like really mixed reviews about this place, but yeah, anyway, we've come to the Stratford Road. So we come here quite early, about 9 a.m. And it's like streets are already bustling and people are starting to come out, getting all the shops ready. And it's, uh, yeah, it's really nice. And I don't know, it sort of wakes you up, like the atmosphere on the street. If you guys haven't heard of uh, Chai Wooler, it's basically a Desi, breakfast slash brunch slash all, all day meal type place. It was originally from Leicester, I believe, and they've got places popping up all across the UK. I'm pretty sure in a in a city near you, you can find one, but we've come to, to Stratford Road because it's the closest one to us. But yeah, the reason I'm here is to see what all the big fuss is about. Food has arrived and it's looking absolutely banging. First off, we've got for the Desi breakfast, and it's got the, uh, you get your choice of um, multiple things, and you can either get like a dal, uh, a chana, or masala beans. In this case, we're going for the dal, and uh, you can choose roti or parata. We're going for the parata. I think it's roti. And then you also get an omelette on the side. I just love parata because it's nice and flaky, but let's, uh, yeah, let's give it a go with the, uh, the dal. Mm. Yeah, really nice and flaky. The dal isn't like strong and pungent, but it's more saucy and subtle, if that makes sense. And then like I said, the Desi breakfast also comes with a, uh, a masala omelette. And I've gone for extra chili in this because I, I need a bit of heat this morning. It's a bit cold, so yeah, I don't know if you can see the chili there. It looks, yeah, really good. Mm. Yeah, again, nice omelette, really subtle. I just feel like it's something I could make at home, but it is what it is, you know. Maybe I'll dip it in a bit of the uh, in the dough, see if it gives it a bit more, a bit more oomph. Mm. Yeah, not too bad. I think what's good with the Desi breakfast is you have to eat everything together to to make it good if that makes sense it's it's not like each end of item individually is good you have to mix it to make it good so that, that the meat the desi breakfast as a whole is good but individually the things are i would say lacking in certain aspects it's not bad by any means at all and as well the uh, the desi breakfast comes with a karak chai or well, you could get like, i think karak coffee but we've gone for karak chai because i've already had a coffee this morning Ooh. Yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Yeah, that's really refreshing. And uh, yeah, it definitely feels like it's cleansing your gut. Definitely get the carrot chai, that's, uh, yeah. They don't, it's not called chai walla for nothing. We've also gone for the English-ish breakfast, as it's called. And this comes with uh, masala beans. Again, another masala omelette. Uh, four bits of bread, two sausages, and two rashers of bacon. Yeah, I'm gonna try some of the uh, the beans first because I've never had masala beans. They just look like a Desi style of baked beans. Mm. Yeah, it does taste like baked beans to me. Just with a subtle type of um, spice. Yeah, nothing too crazy. If somebody gave me that instead of baked beans, I, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference much. It, it's that subtle, you know, alhamdulillah. This is what it is. It does taste all right. Yeah, and it also comes with uh, the rashers of uh, lamb. So, so this is lamb bacon. Have to put it in with the, uh, with the bread to make a sort of like a, yeah, bacon type sandwich. Mm. Yeah, I really like that because the uh, 
the bacon's really strong. Like you can really taste the the meatiness and the the strong lamb flavour. Let's get a bit of it with the uh, with the the masala beans. Mm. The three together, absolute banger. Yeah, and to finish off, it also comes with a uh, well, a two sausages. And these are yeah pr pretty nicely well cooked I would say just just the way I like them. Mmm. Ooh, those sausages are really nice. I, they're actually quite spicy. I did not expect that at all. I'll say out of all the food I've eaten so far, the sausages seems like they got the most kick in them. <laughs> and I was expecting them to just be like standard sausages, but. They're more than that, they're, yeah, really good actually. Actually guys, I lied, well, I didn't lie, I forgot. I have actually had uh, masala beans before at Bloom in Sullyhill. So um, yeah, amazing breakfast place by the way. And if you want to check that out, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, just, yeah, absolute banger. But anyway guys, so far so good. I find with these two sort of breakfast items we've gone for that there's, Everything together is really nice, but individually the things are okay. I mean, the highlight for me was that sausage, but we're gonna move on to the last thing, which is, uh, well, the last thing, the last item, which is the, uh, the Hava Puri. My favorite, all time Desi style breakfast item. It's just, uh, yeah, incredible. So let's hit into it. So yeah, it comes with two uh, Puri breads, and uh, these are, I don't know, it's just, it reminds me of like a, a flat donut. <laughs> Because the, the, it's been deep fried, so it does have that sort of donut-y, stretchy, doughy type flavour to it. Yeah, these ones are quite hard to be honest. Normally they're a lot softer than that, but let's give it a try. Looks can be deceiving. So we've gone for the. It comes obviously with the halva, but it also comes with um, the chana. So I'm going to try it with a bit of the uh, the chana first. And yeah, so chana is like a a masala spice chickpea type dish. Mm. Yeah, that's not too bad actually. I really like the um, the sauce on that. I think out of all of like the side desi dishes you get, like out of the dal, the masala beans, and the the chana, I think the chana for me is yeah the best of the three for sure. But as usual, to end it on a sweet note. I'm gonna try a bit of this uh, this halva puri. And the puri bread is quite hard as well. Like I, I would expect it to be more sort of like uh, elastic, whereas this one's a bit more hard. I don't know if it's been out at all, but it is what it is, you know? But anyway, let's give this a uh, go. Mm. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Not the best halva I've had. It is very subtle. And I have noticed that with chaiwala. A lot of the items are very, very subtle in flavour. They're not bold and pungent. I guess because it's a, a franchise and they want to please sort of every type of, uh, of person. They haven't made the, the flavours massively strong and pungent and bold, which I like, unfortunately. So I get some criticism of Chaiwala, but it's not bad at all by any means. I would, uh, yeah, I would definitely return if I had if I saw one and I was like, oh, I want to have a Desi breakfast and I can't find anything, no problem at all. And the prices are like relatively cheap too, so um, yeah. But we're going to tuck in now and uh, enjoy the rest of the meal. Hope you guys like this video and I'll uh, catch you guys on the next one. Set in.